Welcome back, friends. Last guy here, and it's time for us to watch the uh, Bulba Thor, the Dark World. So, all right. So this is the one. This is the one that competes for last place. <laughs> Thor, the Dark World. Our tagline for this one is: Chad learns to forgive his brother again. So. The budget, they didn't even release what the budget was. They said between 27 and 270, and considering how much CG and just practical on this movie, it's probably on the higher end. It only made $644 million. Considering Iron Man 3 made a $1.2 billion. Oh my god, you think the train would have kept going, but it did not. This did not do great. Um, things happen in this one. The main villain is by freaking Doctor Who himself, uh, Eccleston. The first uh, new Doctor. And um, he hated this movie so much, uh, he didn't want to work with Marvel ever again. So did Jane Foster, uh, which is Natalie Portman. I think that's fine, because she was not great in this movie. Uh, Natalie Portman's not good in action movies. She just isn't. Apparently she's an amazing actress, but I'm not watching the movies where she's an amazing actress, evidently. Uh, is she, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Um... She's just not great in this, um, which is too bad because that means we're never going to see Jane Foster. If you want girl Thor, which is Jane Foster, that's not going to happen then. They'll probably make it Valkyrie or something. I remember bits and pieces of this movie. Not a lot, just bits and pieces. Like, we know the reality stone is here, and I don't remember the reality stone is the reality stone yet. Actually, it might be. Because I remember the post credit scene now. I just don't remember if they name drop it as the reality stone or not. That's the part I don't remember. But it, it's in this one. Like, we, we got the Space Zone Test Rack, we got the reality stone here, and I don't remember if we knew it was reality stone yet. That's the one thing I'm not, no, no. Right now it's the Aether. And. Yeah, I just don't remember that part. But then if you actually saw this movie and then saw the end credit scene, then you knew where it was when Infinity War happened. So it's interesting with that. I don't remember the Stanley uh, cameo. Jinx remembers it. Um, I don't remember if I like this movie or not. I don't remember if I like the movie or not. I just know there's things I didn't care for. But maybe I will like it. No, it's been so many years at this point. Uh, maybe I'll like it. Maybe I'll like it. I don't know. Um, plenty of things that happen in the movie that are more spoilery that we'll talk about after. Uh, but it's probably fine. We'll see. Let's let's just get into the movie and see what everyone thinks after it, and let's have fun. Let's watch it. All right, movie over. Okay, so oh man, that was a movie. Um, I let's talk about the villain first. So the villain's just super generic. It's it's unfortunate because this is uh, uh, I can't remember first name. Something Eccleston. Eccleston. He's a, he's a good actor. I like him in things. I I just I don't don't I don't know what he could have done with that character. He's just a very just serious bad guy. That that's it. Just he's bad gay. He's just bad gay. That's it. That's all he is. And I think I think serviceable villains are fine for the first movie. I don't understand why they're serviceable villains in the second uh, movie. Like the same thing for Iron Man too. It, it's Mickey Rourke is just he's just a serviceable villain when he could have been a really great one it's a real good actor there same thing goes for Malekith this guy is a great actor he could have been this really good character with some real good motivations and instead he's just I want to just make everything dark I want to link the worlds and make them all dark that's it Like, ugh. so he's just bad gay that's it and it's just uh, that that's all they got. That like the movie's fine. There's really good scenes in the movie. But a lot of the movie is just fine. That is the big problem. It's just fine. Um one thing I don't like is the whole thing with Eric Selvig. They just make him insane and he's just that's supposed to be funny, but it's just it just craps on the character. It really do. Uh I, they could have just made him drunk. He's just a constant drunk guy because he got effed in the brain. Like, one of the great scenes is just right after Loki dies, Thor's like, Loki's dead. He's like, oh, thank God. And Th Thor's like, uh, bro. Like, well, you know, he did F his brain up pretty bad. 
it's just fine. It's fine. It's fine. The Stanley cameo is very okay. He's just he's just at the insane asylum or the the psych ward, and that's it. Um, the fake Loki death. He, Loki keeps faking his death, which is why it's so significant when he finally gets killed. Um. And then the fake Loki greeting. I like that one better when he's faking his grieving, where he looks like he's okay and he's actually a big mess because he lost his mother. And it's interesting to see that he got it from his mom. His mom's all about trickery, so he got it from her. How then Thor got everything from his dad with Odin. Also, Odin's characterization is so weird because he's like wise old guy. It's like it's like Dumbledore with Harry Potter. He's like wise old guy, and then he becomes like more animated and angrier. And then the third movie, he's just, well, guys, just like Harry Potter. So, um, not in the third movie, but it, 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 six movies in thirds, in thirds. Um, it's weird what they did with Odin, because I guess they're setting up what happened with Ragnarok and everything. I don't know. But the Infinity Stones were introduced in this movie. That's the thing I couldn't remember. Because I, I did not watch The Dark World for the longest time. I saw Guardians of the Galaxy. So for me, I thought that was the first introduction to the Infinity Stones. But no, it's it's in the end. One of the credit scenes for this one is they bring the reality stone to the collector. He's like, well, why aren't you giving your phone? It's like, well, we can't hold two uh, infinity stones in one place. So it's like, okay, we know where two are. Because we know the Tesseract is one, and we know this red stone's another. We don't know what's the reality stone. We don't know what's the space stone. But there's hints as to what they are. And so you're hinted like, okay, reality stone, space stone. Okay. Thinking about Age of Ultron, how the hell do they get... What are they... They're using the Scepter to make their powers, I think, right? So they're using the Scepter, and they and that's the whole Mind Stone thing. How does Wanda get her reality powers? This is where it's weird, because her powers are basically the reality stone, but she doesn't actually have any contact with the reality stone. That's weird, now I think about it. Because because people are theorizing that there's representatives of the stones, at least there's a couple characters who, who can represent the stones. Vision's mind, Wanda's reality, but and Captain Marvel's space, but Wanda never interacts with the reality stone at any point, so now I'm like, wait a sec, yeah, what the hell? Watching these movies again is just making me think about things. Um, so yeah, the red stone, the blue stone, and we don't know where the other stones are yet in this movie. Next, well, the next one's Captain America, and then after that's Guardians of the Galaxy, which has the power stone. So then we see three stones. And... Oh, right, because the scepter, right. <laughs> Technically four because of the scepter, but we don't know about the scepter being the mind stone until Age of Ultron. When you just the hints are there though, considering the mind stones mind controlling people, and then yeah, that movie, and then we don't know where the soul stone is for the longest time. People thought the soul stone would be in Wakanda because they got soul brother, and then the time stone was revealed in uh, Doctor Strange, and so yeah, just thinking about it, I'm like yeah, the reality stone is just only. Jane Foster finds it, they have a fight over it, and then the Collector has it, and then it's in his possession until Infinity Wars. Like, oh, damn, okay. It's, uh, it's just where it is the whole time, okay. It is interesting going back and watching these movies, especially now that we're at the Stones, just seeing where the threads are, and what they were doing, what they're hinting at, or what did they just, like, okay, yeah, this fits for these things later on, kind of thing. But the next one's going to be uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. That's the one that a lot of people think is like the best movie. So see that one. I just remember thinking it was good. I don't remember it being the best, but we'll see. Uh, rankings. Okay, oh, let me get the ranking list real quick. Okay. Um, it's better than Iron Man 2. Is it better than The Incredible Hulk? Man, it's better than Incredible Hulk. It's better than Thor 1. No. Okay. Um, so that's where it goes. Thor. So Iron Man 2, Incredible Hulk, Thor 2, and then Thor, Iron Man 3, Iron Man, Captain America, and Avengers is number one. Where's Jinx putting it? 
right above Incredible Hulk. So that's where Jinx is also putting it. We will see where we put uh, Captain America Winter Soldier. And then after that will be Gar Guardians of the Galaxy. Age of Ultron. And then Ant-Man. Such a weird thing to have Ant-Man uh, after Age of Ultron. I think they just, because he's not involved in that story, so they're doing their own thing over there. So yeah, don't have it before Age of Ultron. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, I had fun uh, watching the movie and talking about it. If you like this movie, let me know. Like, seriously. Um, like, there's there's good parts. There's good parts. But it's just fine. The villain's not the best. Um, it's just a fine movie. It's really just fine. It's a 7. Like, it's a C. Like, that's what it is. Well, that's enough of that, so had fun watching the Marvel movie. Hope you had fun watching and listening. That's what's all about it. Having fun, thanks come by, and see you next time. And eventually we'll see <laughs> Bubba Thor 3. <laughs>